Welcome to this edition of Get to Know Your Wayne State Football Program for the 21 season. I'm Sports Information Director Jeff Weiss and joined today by wide receivers coach Chris Cowley. Chris, thanks for joining us. We were talking a little bit before we got started. 13 guys at wide receiver position. Three have played it in college. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A little youthful enthusiasm in the wide receiver room this year. <laughs> a lot of youthful enthusiasm. Um, the great part is they're top end kids. Um, have a lot of talent. You know, we see a lot of the great things out there on the practice field right now. Now we've just got to translate it to game days. But very, very excited about the group. Obviously, the three guys that have experience, Nolan Kimmy, Kyle Lewis, and Trevante Davis. I mean, Trevante obviously played as a true freshman in yes, 2019. Sir. I guess the only good part about COVID is it's a redshirt year for you. You still have him for three more years. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And those guys are the three that have played a little bit of football. Um, and they've all, again, have really high ceilings and have done some nice things for us. Um, Trevante had big catches against Ashland and uh, Grand Valley mm -hmm. last year. Um, Nolan has been kind of the leader of the group, even as a young guy. Um, and again, his skill level is elite, in my opinion. Um, and then Kyle Lewis, who is the elder statesman <laughs> in the room, <laughs> has been here for about eight, nine years at this point. Um, but again, another guy who's great leader for the room. Um, and he's really helped the young guys get accustomed to college football and what you know Saturdays in the weeks are going to be like. Obviously, with 2019, most of the guys, other than Trevante, redshirted. They obviously got the COVID redshirt in 20. So you have guys like Jesse Pruitt. Mm -hmm. And um, Cameron Ford's been around, Darren King, Max Nicklin. So the guys have been in the program for a while. Yes, sir. What do you expect from them this year? Well, it's got to be a big year for them. Um, you know, as you talked about, with not having a whole lot of experience in the room as a whole, um, some of those guys that have been here, you know, we're looking for them to contribute quite a bit. Um, Jesse Pruitt has had a phenomenal um, past year, year and a half of just progressing and getting better. Um, he's taken some reps with the ones. Uh, he's done a really nice job, and I think he'll fill you know, part of that void we're missing with losing some of our upclassmen like Darice. Um, and then as you talk about a Darren King, um, a Cam Ford, a Max Nicklin, those guys have worked their tails off to get their opportunities to be on the field, and they'll definitely have some opportunity. Um, the competition in the room is going to be stiff, and I feel very, very happy with their progress, mm -hmm. and now we've just got to see the final, final product <laughs> in camp. Sounds good. And obviously you got young guys like Eli Haddad and A.J. Terry who both come from winning programs. Obviously that helps with the pedigree in f terms of, you know, support in the room and being able to say, hey, we need to do things the right way. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, I, I kind of give the guys a hard time at times where Eli has been the constant, consistent to a T, everything you ask him to do. Um, and he's been a constant professional with it. I um, mean, he's really made a lot of plays. Um, especially when we're going through the spring and things of that nature. Um, he'll be a guy that'll push Kyle Lewis, I believe, um, you know, for a lot of reps on game day. Um, and then A.J. Terry, who, again, comes from a winning program, that, that kid is just a mountain of a man. He's strong as all receivers I really <laughs> have. i um, trying to keep the language to a minimum. Um, but he is, again, another kid who's got a lot of years left, but physically he's ready to play football right now. Sounds great. And then obviously you added uh, three recruits, Deion Brown, Corbin Small and Javon Trey Rolden. So yes. obviously start building for the future with those guys. Absolutely. And the great thing about those guys is they all have kind of their one thing they're masters of at this point. As a whole, they're good receivers. You know, they can do anything you need them to. Um, but a guy like Deion Brown filled in at quarterback for Davidson on their <laughs> state title run um, as receiver. And again, his football IQ is through the roof. He'll be a guy will get you first down every single time. He's going to catch the ball every single time you throw it to him. Very crafty. Um, he's got a, a twitch. Uh, he's got some juice to him that you don't necessarily see all the time, but when he needs it, he has it. Um, Javon Trey, again, another guy I think is going to play Z. Phenomenal hands, good route runner. Um, and, and the thing about him is he's going to be consistent. He mm -hmm. is super consistent. Um, Corbin Small probably end up playing a little bit more X for us. He maybe has the highest ceiling in the group. And again, I think they're all pretty close. Um, but his physical stature is obviously something you have to pay attention to. He's a 6'4", 6'5", kid, um, close to 200 pounds <laughs> already as a true freshman. And he's got great hands, great size hands. Um, and he's been, again, a kid we're really excited about. Sounds great. Well, thanks for watching this edition of Get to Know Your Wayne State football team.